Hello everyone, it's Taryn, and today we're going to be talking about ways to save time in the mornings. I know that school is starting and things are crazy, so I'm gonna give you some tips that help me um, when I have to save time in the morning. So my first tip is to, if you drink coffee, or if you have anything in the morning, just pre-make it and have it ready for you, especially coffee. You know, I, I make my coffee the night before, I have it on a timer, and so as soon as I wake up, it's already brewing, and that saves me a ton of time in the morning. My second tip is to make everyone's lunches the night before. So make your lunch, make your kids' lunch, have your kids make their lunches, whoever it is, just have the lunches made so that you're not making lunch in the morning because that will also save you a lot of time in the morning if you don't have to think about what everyone's gonna eat that day. My next tip is to lay out everything that you want to wear the next day. So like have your clothes ready, have your kids clothes ready. One sort of like controversial thing that I do is um, a lot of times I even let my kids sleep in their clothes so they literally just like wake up and go. So it saves a ton of time. Um, I don't know, I think it's a good trick and gets us out of the house really quickly. My next tip is to have your work bag or your purse or your school bags all packed and ready to go. I put them in front of the door so that when we are ready to leave the house, they're just sitting there and waiting and it's super simple. I don't have to run around the house and think about what bag I'm gonna take or where are the kids' backpacks. Everything's just at the front door and ready to go. My next tip, and it's not for everyone, but it's to shower at night. So um, I think this saves a lot of time, you know, maybe 20 minutes, you know, your hair isn't wet. It's just very convenient to shower at night and you're still fresh and clean from the night before. Um, and that's a good way to, to save time. My other tip kind of along the same lines is to do your grooming at night. So um, shaving takes a long time, plucking takes a long time. Just do that at night. Uh, when you're not in a rush and you will definitely save time as you're trying to get out the door in the morning. Okay, and then if you do shower in the morning, because I know some people don't like to shower at night, just set a timer. So you'll be surprised how quickly time can fly when you're in the shower. So just set a timer and then that way, when you hear the timer go off, you know it's time to get out of the shower, you know you need to like hurry up and get out, whatever it is, just that timer is a good cue for you to keep it moving. My next tip for getting out of the house quickly is just Seems a little bit weird, but but I don't use makeup tools. I feel like that adds a lot of time. Okay, I do use brushes. I think those are quick and easy, but I don't use things like sponges or whatnot. I really just blend things in with my fingers. I think it's faster. Um, you know, I know that tools are useful for people, but I think they do take a lot of time. And then my final tip, which is probably the most useful and most important is don't check your phone until you are about to leave the house. It is such a time suck when you wake up, roll out of bed, and immediately grab and check your phone. It, do not do that, you will waste a ton of time, so just leave your phone and only check it as you're ready to leave the house. So these are my quick tips, I hope you find them useful, and um, I hope that they help you get out of the house a little bit quicker in the morning. See you next time.